Welcome back. We have come to a really interesting area, user security. It's one of the most sensitive areas in database administration. It can cost you a job, not only you, it can also cost the organization. The brand image is killed just because of user security. We really need to pay much attention to this topic. We get data breaches, etc. Just because maybe along the way we never understood this topic. User security is in three things, authentication, authorization, and auditing, the triple A model. That is the industry standard whenever you talk about security in computer systems. And in this section, we are going to pay much attention to authentication. We want to ensure that the people connecting to our database are the right people to connect to it. We don't want any random person to just connect to our database. That is the purpose of this section. Let's dive in. So whenever we are authenticating users, one, we have to create user accounts for every user who will use our system. In Oracle, we have default accounts. These default accounts, some of them are administrative in nature, others are not. So often you have seen me using Sys or Systeam when I'm connecting to the database. And I always comforted you that don't worry, we shall look at that later. And this is the letter I was referring to. So Systeam is a, is a default administrative account a super administrative account with all the rights as a DBA, with all the rights you need to do your work as a database administrator, you will use, so often you use Sys. It is the most powerful administrative account we have in Oracle. Then we have System, the next powerful administrative, the next powerful administrative account we have in Oracle. If you don't use Sys, you can use System. But there are some things Sys can do that system cannot do. If you recall so well, when we are trying to shut down and start up the instance, and indeed Oracle told us that system cannot shut down the database because of insufficient privileges. We are going to look at what are privileges. So system cannot do some things like shutting down and starting up the instance or database, but system can. So there are some things that sys can do and system cannot do. Then the last one is sysman. Sysman is the least privileged and is used when we are using the a tool we call the Enterprise Manager. We are not going to dwell so much on Sysman. So apart from the administrative accounts, we also, we also have other accounts that come with Oracle, like public, like HR, etc. To create a user account in Oracle, we must pay attention to the following. We must have a username. Any user account must have a username. This username shouldn't exceed 30 characters. So we should not exceed 30 characters and it shouldn't include special characters like the percentage, like the equal sign or the plus, the star. The only special character allowed is the underscore. Apart from the username, we also have authentication method. Every user account must have a way of being authenticated into the database. We have three ways of authenticating users. We have the password authentication, we have external authentication and the global authentication. With the password authentication, we use passwords with this method of authentication the username and the password are stored in the database and whenever the user tries to connect to the database the database confirms the database authenticates the details provided by this user it authenticates to ensure that the username is right and the password is right remember everything remember the username and the password are stored in the database so it can authenticate the user then we have the external authentication with the external authentication, it is the operating system to authenticate the users. The moment you log into Windows, the moment you log into your operating system using the administrator account, Oracle assumes that you are the actual owner of the database. So if my database is installed on this machine and I log into this computer using my administrator account, not a guest account, my administrator account, Oracle assumes that I own this database. So what will happen is it won't ask me for the password no it won't ask me for the password but it will just allow me in to access anything in the database without really asking me for any password because the password i entered when i was using the computer it was enough then the third one is the global authentication with the global authentication authentication is done by advanced security options advanced security mechanisms technologies uh, facial recognition, digital certificates, etc. So those are the three 
authentication methods but we shall dwell much energy on the password authentication because it is the most common authentication used in database administration then apart from the username and authentication method we also need to pay much attention to the default table space whenever a user is creating objects in the database they have to specify the table space where those objects will be stored now in case they don't specify maybe you are creating tables you need to create need to specify the table space where this table will be stored in case you don't specify the table space and that is what most of us do oracle uses the default table space to store your data then we have the temporary table space this one is used to store temporary segments that's temporary segments from sorting operations whenever we carry out some sorting operations like using the where clause the order by clause if you if you're familiar with sql then you understand these sorting operations the group by etc whenever we have some filtering of data there are some segments that come up and they are really important for oracle these segments are stored in a table space we call the temporary table space we also have quarter space so quarter is the space allocated for a user on a default table space remember i've said that the default table space will help you in keeping the database objects they will help you in keeping users data in case they don't specify the table space they want their records to be stored on so the quarter is just the space allocated on a table space for a particular user so that amount of space in oracle we call it the quarter apart from the quarter we also have the profile Profile, every user account must have a profile. Profile help us in limiting the resource usage for a user account. For example, the memory usage, the session timeout. So often we use applications and you find yourself, it has locked, it has logged you out automatically. Maybe you left it open for some time. After some time, it just shuts down or it just logs you out. That is what we call all that is controlled by the profile things to do with the password complex and settings we can say that every after 30 days a user account must change the password we, we are not allowing the same password to be used over and over after some time maybe when you are changing your password you're not allowed to use the old password all these things are controlled under the what we call under what we call the profile then finally, we have what we call the account status. An account can be open, it can be locked, it can be expired. Just assume somebody is fired from the job and they still have access to our database. They may do something malicious to our content, to our database. So whenever a user account is no longer in use, it's better to, to just lock it to avoid unnecessary drama with your database. So those are the components of a user account. Each user account must have all the things for you to be able to success let's see practically how we create user accounts we need to connect to the database as administrators for us to be able to create user accounts we are going to create a user account for abraham we use the create user keyword this is a user account this is the username remember i said every account must have a username so we are having create user we are creating a user called abraham that is the user account identified by it means what is the password you want to give this pass this pass so identified by frank this is the password so the username will be abraham and then the password will be frank default table space remember it is the users okay then we have the temporary table space and this time we are choosing temp now you can choose any other table space you want for example i may decide to choose uh, clients have a table space called clients created when you are looking at table spaces how we create table spaces and data files yes, actually let me just choose client so that is the default table space clients but you can choose any other as you may wish the quota you want the space what is the space for this new user on a table space we are giving quota space we are giving him unlimited quota space we are giving him no limit but we can decide to change and we say we just want something like 50 MBs, 50 MBs only on this particular table space. So we are giving him 50 on now when we change from users here and we give it clients here we here we also change from users to clients because it is now our default table space. Profile the profile we are leaving everything to default 
and then the password should expire. Password expire means the moment the user logs into the system, the password expires for the first time and they are prompted to change and they are prompted to change the password. Then account unlock it means this account will be unlocked and it will be open for using. So when you run this, you can see that the user was successfully created. So this is how we create a user account. We begin with create user Abraham identified by the password. The moment we choose default table space, this is the default table space we are choosing, but you can choose any other. We can use users. In most cases, we use users, users table space to store as users table space as the default table space. So here we are saying the default table space is clients. Now the quota, the quota space we are giving, it should also be on this default table space. So the moment you use a different default table space here, it should be reflected in the quota here. It is the quota we give it. We give this quota on a default table space. So this is why these two should match. So the profile default and then the account expire. We can create another account for Elias identified by Nakafu. Sorry, Nakafu. <laughs> default table space and we give it users then the temporary table space we can leave it to temp but you can change it again and we give this person unlimited rather than just limiting them and then the moment we change the default table space even the quota has to change and then when you run the user has been created so that is how we create user accounts in oracle let us try to connect using these user accounts so we can just use the connect and then we enter the password, the username, which is Abraham. The password is Frank. Remember, when you're writing password, they don't show anything, but they will really know that something is being typed. So when you run, they say the password has expired. Why has it expired? Because of this command we used, password expire, meaning the first login, on the first login, the user should be prompted for a new password. This is really a wonderful method of ensuring better passwords are chosen for users. So we can have a default password for all users, but after some time, but after the first login, the user is prompted to change to a new password. So Abraham, uh, his password has been changed. Let me give him a new password. I'm sure he also doesn't know the password. We can also, they ask us for confirming. And Abraham now has everything. His account is open now. But we ran into a new error. Abraham lacks the create session privilege and he cannot connect. Even if we try to connect using his new password, they say, they bring the same. He doesn't have the right to connect to the database. Now, this introduces us to something interesting. Even if we create user accounts, they don't have the rights to access our system. And we are going to solve that in the next episode. Let's meet there.